Thanks very much, the Christian Rural and also Urban Development Association of Nigeria. Cruden have now joined forces to develop and implement an early action protocol, a significant step towards mitigating the impact of flooding and drought in the most vulnerable communities of uh, Kassina State and Andamar State. The initiative aims to bolster community resilience and also reduce disaster risk through a comprehensive capacity building program. A recent three-day training session organized by these organizations focused on flood mitigation strategies. The training brought together key stakeholders, including media representatives, to explore effective ways to minimize the loss of lives and property due to recurring annual flooding incidents in this region. Now, the collaborative uh, efforts by Oxfam, Cruden, and the Wahafa project targets flood uh, impact in Noman and uh, Ademawa and also drought conditions in Bari, Kansan State. Meanwhile, stakeholders are now ordering 376,026 residents of Noman to heed flood warnings and enhance preparedness and response. I think it's a fallout of our um, anticipatory action work that we are doing in Adamawa State, um, Numan particularly. Uh, the anticipatory action planning work that we are doing is to be able to um, prepare the community and the state in readiness for any hazard, most especially flood, that is a usual occurrence in that local government, so that the community is uh, prepared and ready to minimize the impact of the flood when it comes. Training is to create awareness and to strengthen capacity of um, stakeholders in Adamawa State in what is called anticipatory humanitarian action. Uh, so anticipatory humanitarian action is about taking proactive steps or actions to mitigate the negative impact of advanced weather and climatic events uh, within a particular place. And for Adamawa State, we are targeting flooding in Numan local government area. And we know that uh, flood has had very negative impact on the people in Numan. And we believe that if we're able to take proactive steps ahead of the coming of floods, that it can help to reduce the negative impact that flooding will have on the people's lives, their livelihood, and even property um, in Adama State. So it, it's, it's, it's a bit of a new approach. I hope now to most especially our participant who are our stakeholders from the ministry, government for a starter, and even the local community, whereby we build their capacity on the um, anti-spectry humanitarian response, which is so new to most of the people who attended the training. We have looked at what this AHA is, and uh, we've seen that it is a way of really mitigating the impact of any disaster that will come to any community, most especially our target community, which is the riverine communities, because our target for the project is flooding. And if we can put some things in place before the flooding, that can surely mitigate the impact of that hazard. So that is the main thing that we try to uh, build the capacities of our participants for this training. Third day and uh, the closing for this three days uh, program on uh, anticipatory humanitarian action when uh, people are stopped as a result of flooding. So I've learned a lot. Part of what I learned is how to evacuate the people when the flood comes, take them to safer place, and then provide other essential things that they need as a result of displacement from their regular place of abort. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.